In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to fine-tune the motion tracking labels that you may apply by using some keyframing inside of the Title Designer. Here's the issue. Often, when we have a scene like the one you see here, with the fellow boarding behind the boat, we may have something interfere. Something or someone comes between the subject you're tracking and the camera. And that causes a lot of problems when you apply a label or title. So we're going to highlight the track. And then we'll click on the Tools button above the Timelines and choose Motion Tracker. That gets me into my Motion Tracker screen. I have my tracking area. I'm going to make it somewhat smaller. And we'll follow the fellow behind the boat. I'll place it on top of him and simply click Track. And it will follow him very well until we find this gentleman in front of the camera. Now, I want it to track through the place where I lose the tracker. All I need to do to resume tracking the right way is take the tracking marker, slide it over, and drop it on the fellow again. Go ahead and enlarge it just a little bit and click on Track. And now the tracking will resume for the frames of the clip, but here we had something else come between the tracker and the, uh, the camera, and that was a sign. So once again, what I need to do is take the tracker, put it back on my subject, and click track again. And the tracking should resume for most of the rest of the video. Okay, so now I have it tracked. I'm going to add a label. We have an exercise on that by clicking T for text. And we'll just use a label that names our fellow. Let's call him Joseph. And we'll give this a, a border that will stand out. Let me click uh, maybe a maroon color. And now I'm going to, going to take the name and I'll put the label right above him. And then I'll click on OK. But we have a problem. Watch what happens when we take the tracking as it exists and we have something come between him and the camera. Notice there's one problem there and there's another one coming up here. How can we fix that? It's not too difficult. Let me show you how. When you add a label, you're actually adding something to the title track. I'm going to click on that and that gets me into my title designer. I have over here what looks like almost two ropes, if you will, of gold. Actually, it's lots of keyframes. So I'm going to take my mouse and move above the timeline and we'll enlarge our view so we see a lot more closely what's going on. And all this is is a series of keyframes. Now we're going to move over into our project where we have our first problem right here. And we it's going to jerk because we have keyframe problems over here. And so we're at this keyframe point you don't have to be very precise when you do this, but I'm going to right click on the position keyframe and then click on remove keyframe. Then we're going to move a little bit in our project just to the other side. I'm going to back it up a little bit. Maybe here would be fine. You don't have to be right on top. And then I'm going to right click again and do remove keyframe. So what I'm going to do between the left and right side of this gentleman's head in the scene, I'm going to remove all these keyframes in between. It takes a bit of time, but if you want smooth motion, it's worth it. So let me pause the video and do that. Now I have the keyframes removed from that segment of the video. We'll tighten it up a little bit and move our time indicator back. And let's see what happens when we play it from here 
and go through the segment where the man was in the way, as it were, of the tracking. Nice and smooth. Now we'll continue until we get over here to the sign. And now we have the same issue going on. So we would apply the same technique. We move to an appropriate frame to the left. Now this is easy because the motion of the man is relatively smooth. He's up and down a bit, but not too bad. And we, can, we don't have to be extremely precise. Enlarge it a little bit. Right click on the position keyframe and remove it. And then we move later on in the project until he's on the other side of the sign. Again, you don't have to be real precise, maybe someplace like this. Right click and then remove that keyframe. Now we'll pause again and we'll take out all the keyframes in between. Now in real time editing, this took me about three or four minutes and it was tedious and not lots of fun. But if you want smooth motion in your video in a scene like this, it just might be worth it on occasion. So we'll back up our playhead much earlier in the scene and see what it looks like now when the label is behind the sign. very smooth compared to what we had before. So if you run into a situation like that, all you need to do is remove the keyframes that are causing the problem and you should be able to smooth out that motion of your labels that are generated by your motion tracker in PowerDirector.